What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the show. So today we're going to take a look and a listen to Tom Cole. Representative Cole is going to be talking about Social Security and how we should be moving forward when it comes to a reform for Social Security. So we're going to talk about that in this video. And this is going to shock you because of what he is saying. We'll, we'll break it down. We'll talk a little bit about it. But uh, what he is saying is he wants to have some type of a commission, a debt commission is what he's calling it, uh, to look into programs like Social Security and Medicare. And the reason for this commission is to see where they can cut Social Security and Medicare. So we're going to take a look at it. Like I said, we'll talk a little bit about it. And then I'm going to show you a clip. This clip was back in 1984. And the reason why I'm going to show you that clip is because it contradicts what lawmakers are saying today about Social Security and Medicare. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. But first off, you guys can do me a favor. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that little bell notification, and then click all. By clicking all, you'll get notified anytime we post a video. We do daily videos here. So by clicking the bell notification and clicking all, you should be getting updated every day. And just a reminder, thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. And if you'd like to follow me on Twitter and threads, you can at the TEC show live. Okay, so before we get started, I posted a few videos. And like I've said in the past, I'm going to start talking about some different topics. And I know you guys might not be that interested in some of the different topics that I'm talking about, but I will always talk about Social Security. So you can always come back for that. But all I'm asking is for you guys to support the other videos that I put out as well, because that does help get the message out to other people that might be interested in that topic. So if you see something and you say, you know, I don't really want to hear about that, share it with a friend that you think might want to hear it, because that does help when it comes to the channel overall. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm going to play this clip first. And after I play this clip, then I'm going to, to we're going to talk a little bit about it. I'm going to play another clip. Okay, and that will contradict what this lawmaker is talking about. Like I said, this is Representative Tom Cole. He's on the House floor. And this is when they were trying to elect Jim Jordan as speaker. Now, the thoughts that he has, Tom Cole, the, the, the feelings that he has, the way that he wants to move forward with Social Security hasn't changed. All he is saying is he knows that Jim Jordan supported this, and that's why he wanted Jim Jordan to be speaker. But Mike Johnson supports this same thing. So let's go ahead and play the clip. Here we go. So I'm an appropriator. I think I know that uh, that's not the root of the problem. But unlike any other speaker we've had, he's had the courage to talk about a long-term plan and to get at the real drivers of debt. And we all know what they are. We all know it's Social Security. We all know it's Medicare. We all know it's Medicaid. No president of either side has been willing to deal with this. No speaker of either side has been willing to deal with this. My friend, our former colleague, John Delaney, and I offered a plan. I still file it every year. John's not here anymore. To go back and do in uh, 1983 what we did then and address Social Security, we never... Okay. So I, I just want to stop it real quick and just talk about... So we say we want to go back to 1983. So back in 1983, what did they do? They had Social Security reform. That's the last Social Security reform that we've seen. That's when they raised the full retirement age from 65 to 67. And then they did some other things as well. But raising the full retirement age, we've already talked about that. That is a cut to Social Security. And so for every year that you raise, it's about a 7% cut. So he's talking about kind of going back to that when it comes to that type of reform. Okay, let's play the rest and then I'm gonna talk about what he said in the beginning. Never can get any help. This is the guy that wants to create a debt commission, a bipartisan debt commission, and get at the roots of our spending problem. That takes courage. Okay, so that was Tom Cole. Now, you heard that what he was talking about in the very beginning there. He's talking about entitlement programs. He's talking about the drivers of debt. That's basically what, he, what he's saying there. He's talking about Social Security. He's talking about Medicare. Now, he didn't talk about interest on the debt. Okay, because paying interest on the debt, that is a big expense that we're also paying into. But what he is not understanding, and this next clip will be uh, Ronald Reagan. We'll, we'll play this clip. Now, understand this, too. <laughs> Ronald Reagan, he's the one that actually signed off on the Social Security reform. Okay, So there were cuts to Social Security. But when you're hearing lawmakers today, when you're hearing them talk about Social Security and Medicare, they're always talking about... This is driving our debt. When the reality is, the money is coming from the payroll tax. This money comes from the payroll tax. It goes directly to the Social Security Administration. So 
Congress doesn't have, they can't get their hands on that money. And so to say that it's driving the debt, that's just not correct because it's not. Now, let me, let me play this clip from Ronald Reagan and then we'll, we'll come back and we'll talk a little bit about it. But he explains this and this video has been out there since 1984, but lawmakers are still coming out and saying, yes, the problem is social security. The problem is Medicare. When the reality is it's not, it's not adding to our debt. So here we go. Let's play this. Social Security, let's lay it to rest once and for all. I told you never would I do such a thing. But I tell you also now, Social Security has nothing to do with the deficit. Social Security is totally funded by the payroll tax levied on employer and employee. If you reduce the outgo of Social Security, that money would not go into the general fund to reduce a deficit. It would go into the Social Security Trust Fund. So Social Security has nothing to do with balancing a budget or erasing or lowering the deficit. Okay, so that was Ronald Reagan there. And a lot of these lawmakers like Tom Cole, they look up to Ronald Reagan and say he was the best president. So looking at that, you have Tom Cole saying one thing. You have Ronald Reagan saying another thing. And in this situation, I agree with Ronald Reagan. When it comes to Social Security, it is not adding to the debt. But lawmakers want you to believe that it's adding to the debt, because if they can get you to believe that, then you're going to want to make cuts to Social Security. Okay. Now, I'm now, like I said, when it comes to Ronald Reagan, he's no angel because Social Security reform back in 1983, when they voted on that bill and they passed it and they sent it to the president, he signed off on it and there were cuts to Social Security. Okay. So he's no angel when it comes to this, but... He is correct when he's talking about it not adding to the debt. And that's what lawmakers today want you to believe. They want you to believe that Social Security and Medicare, they're the problems. That's why we need to cut those programs. If you cut, if you made cuts to those programs, it's not going to help bring down the debt. All that money would just go to the trust fund if you want to look at it that way and it would extend the program out just a little bit longer because you wouldn't be pulling so much money from the trust fund. Let me give you a good example. Let's say they were to do something when it comes to the cost of living adjustment. They were to reduce that amount. If you reduce the amount of the cost of living adjustment, let's say right now, what is it? 3.2% for 2024. Let's say if they reduce that in half. And so now we're looking at 1.6% instead of the 3.2% because some lawmakers want to do that. They want to reduce the amount of, of COLA. And if you do that, that would mean that people that are receiving social security, instead of getting a 3.2%, which is not a lot, they'll get a 1.6%. So in other words, if you're in a situation where you're receiving about the average amount of social security benefits, about 1840 something dollars they were saying on average they're going to see about $58 increase 58 59 dollar increase well that would be cut in half and so now you're looking at what 28 29 dollars instead of the 59 dollars and so that's what some lawmakers want to do but if they did that that money is not going to pay down the debt that money is going to the trust fund the trust fund will basically won't need to you won't need to pull out as much money from the trust fund in order to make those payments because you have some lawmakers that were that are looking at the fact that if we have large colas like we just had what 8.7 percent for 2023 if you have large colas like that then you need to take more money out of the trust fund in order to pay off the benefits okay and, and it's not just money from the trust fund we know it's money from the payroll tax so you have about 77 percent coming from the payroll tax and then the remainder is coming from the trust fund. You take that money from the trust fund, if you have to pay out more in benefits, you need to take out more from the trust fund, which means the trust fund will deplete a lot faster. But that money is not going to the debt. That's not, it's not going to pay off the debt, and that's, what, that's the big problem. Lawmakers are trying to confuse us, so we think, okay, well, if we make these cuts, it's gonna help us out in the end because that money will be paying down our debt. That is not what's going on. That is not what's happening. Uh, I wanna do a follow-up video and I'll, I'll do that. Uh, hopefully I'll do it either later today or maybe tomorrow. But now you have the new speakers in there and he's talking about pay fors So any bill that passes the house, you need to, you're gonna need to have pay fors Right now they're talking about uh, aid to Israel. That 
bill is going to have to have pay for. So you're gonna have to take money from some area of the government in order to pay for money going to Israel. Okay, and that's just the new thing here. But any bill that goes through the house, they wanna have pay fors. And so why is that dangerous? It's dangerous because where are they going to cut next? Let's say they wanna have money going to Ukraine or let's say they wanna have money going to whatever, money going to our defense. Well, you need to have pay fors. So now we need to go to a, a government agency. Let's look at Medicare. Let's look at Social Security. Let's take some money from the Social Security Administration. And I'm not talking about money that's going out to beneficiaries. I'm talking about money from the Social Security Administration. Let's take money from their budget and then we'll pass a bill for money for uh, the Department of Defense. Or, and I'm just giving you an example. And so later I'll do a full video and I'll give you all the details when it comes to that. But that's what we're looking at right now in the House. The House wants pay for And so some of these lawmakers want pay for now, but they didn't want pay for back in uh, 2017 when they passed the, the tax cuts for the wealthy. They didn't want pay for for that, but now they want pay for us. So I'll, I'll, like I said, I'll do that video, but I just wanted to show you kind of the, the contradiction when it comes to lawmakers right now, what they're talking about and what they were talking about in the past. And the reality is when it comes to social security, that money is untouched. It's going for, it's coming from the payroll tax. It's designed that way. They don't want to have, they don't want Congress to be able to get their hands on that money. So it's coming directly from the payroll tax and then going to the social security administration. And then the social security administration, they already have a trust fund where they have excess money. And now we're drawing from that trust fund. So it's not going to bring down our debt. So anytime you hear a lawmaker say that they're not being honest with you, they're not telling you the truth because it's not going to have any impact on our national debt. If you guys have any questions, let me know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.